One question. Yes, what you got? Oh, just what you said, um, you said it before, that, that Paul was a Gentile by being a Roman citizen. So was he a Gentile by birth when his parents was a Gentile? Mm -hmm. No? How does no. a Roman citizen make you a Gentile? Yeah, let's look at it. Well, so when I said you're a Gentile, he had, you, could, you could be a Gentile in two ways. Okay. You could be by birth or by legal, legality. For example, okay. Jada Lynn is my daughter by birth, right? Mm -hmm. But Chris and I, we could adopt a child, right? You can adopt a child. And that child would be our son or daughter. I'd say, that's my daughter. But you look at her and say, don't look nothing like it. Well, because legally I adopted her. She's not, she wasn't by birth, right? Like mm -hmm. Jada. Well, like any, look, you look, at our, look at our laws. You could, you could be born in Mexico or something. <laughs> you were born in Mexico, you become a, a U.S. citizen, you got to go through the whole thing. So, legally, is how Paul, I'll, I'll show you some verses in a minute. So, when I, when I, saw, he's a, when I say he's a, a Jew and a Gentile in one body, what I mean by that is, when we talk about the Gentiles, we're talking about the Romans, okay? The Romans represent the Gentiles. Paul was a Roman citizen, and he didn't buy it. His parents, this is what I think happened. He was born, uh, let's, let's look at this verse. So he was a Hebrew, right? All right. Look at, look at Philippians 3. That's a good question. Look at Philippians 3. I, I, Paul is a type of the body of Christ because he has dual citizenship. Timothy is actually a Jew and Gentile by birth. His, 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 his mother, Loa, uh, his grandmother, Loa, and his mother, Eunice, right? So these are two different cases, okay. And his father was a Greek. All right, so, so Timothy literally was a Jew and a Gentile. He, he was bi you know how Jana Lennon, she's white and black, she's bi -right. This guy, is, is he, he's, he has, he, he, his, his mother was a Jewish, right? Call her Jewess, Acts 16. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me start with Timothy first, then we get to Paul. Timothy was literally a Jew and a Gentile in the body. His mother was a Jewish woman, his father was Greek, right? Acts 16. So he, he, he is a Jew and Gentile in one body. Greeks are, are a, a Gentile as oh, well. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Greek, a Greek is an uncircumcised Gentile. The only ones who are considered not Gentiles are uh, Hebrews, Israelis. The circumcision. Uh -huh. Uncircumcised, Romans were uncircumcised. They were Gentile. Gentiles simply the people out of other nations outside of Israel, okay? The, in that day, it was Jew and Gentile, Jew and Gentile. If you weren't a Jew, you were a Gentile. Okay? So Timothy was one by birth. Paul himself was a Hebrew, so he was born as a Hebrew. Look at Philippians 3, verse 5. Philippians 3, 5. Circumcised the eighth day. Abraham seed had to do that. Of the stock of Israel. He was of the right nation. Of the tribe of Benjamin. He was the one of the tribes where Saul, King Saul, this was the most treasured tribe because Benjamin, you know who Benjamin is? Benjamin is the brother of Joseph. Their mother was the beloved Rachel who died. Genesis 35, as her soul was in the party, she died. As she's given birth to Benjamin, she died. Jacob says, this is, this is the last bastion of my dearly beloved Rachel. So this, this young man and Joseph, by the way, were both dear to him, okay? All right, so the tribe of Benjamin, first king of Saul was from Benjamin. You see what it says this, Denise? And Hebrew of the Hebrews? Mm -hmm. The Lord Jesus Christ couldn't even claim that. Here's Abraham the Hebrew. Abraham the Hebrew. Genesis 14. Both of Saul's parents went directly. So here's Saul. Here's his parents, his mom and his dad. Their entire line, they, they hold, you know, these Jews have genealogy, straight through back to Abraham, no intermingling with Gentiles, his mother and his father. The Lord Jesus can't claim that. In the book of Ruth, Ruth the Moabitess, she married Boaz of the tribe of Judah. They have Obed. Obed had Jesse. Jesse had David. 
Jesus Christ, uh, I'm just going to say Jesus, his humanity, he came through there. But Ruth, she's a Moabitess. She's a Gentile. The Lord can't even claim that he goes all the way back through there. Saul could. This is pure, right? Yeah. So by he birth, was, by native, he was Jew. Uh -huh. yeah, but Jew is their, is their religion, but you understand, he was Hebrew. But he was a freeborn Roman as well. Uh, Brian, I might have to have you, your help. Uh, go to um, Acts, go to the book of Acts, Acts 23, Acts 23. Two times it's mentioned about Paul. Acts 23. And so legally, in the Roman Empire, so, so evidently what happened is this. It's not in it, but you can just read between the lines. Here's what happened. Saul's parents, his mother or father, wanted it, mostly probably his father in a patriotic society, a patriarchal, patriarchal society. He bought his Roman citizenship. But just like a Mexican can come in Go through the, the go through all our stuff legally, become a U.S. citizen, and then give birth to a child. That child might be pure Mexican going back, but if it was born in America, he's an American citizen with all the rights, right? That's how Saul was. Saul was born into that thing. His father probably bought the right, and Saul was born under. That's what I'm getting because there's a person. Okay, here we go. Um, let's see. Acts. If you can do me a favor, right? I need. Uh, Oh, Acts, I know one of them. Acts 16. Go to Acts 16. Remember Paul was beaten? Paul and Silas were beaten in Acts 16 for preaching Christ. Look at verse number 36. Acts 16, 36. And the keeper of the prison told this to Paul. The magistrates have sent to let you go. Now therefore depart and go in peace. But notice... Remember, I, I did a study on, on, on politics in the Bible. I said, look here, you don't just, if you can use your citizenship for your advantage, use it. Because Paul did. Watch what he did. Verse 37, but Paul said unto them, they have beaten us openly uncondemned, being what? Romans. Paul and Silas were Roman citizens. And have cast us into prison, and now do they thrust us out privily? See, what they try to do is, they made a big show of the flesh by beating these guys in public. But they want to just, okay, just sneak on away. You think they're like politicians? They do something to be saying, and then when they get caught, they go, let's just sweep it under, let's move on, let's move on. Uh -uh. Paul says, no, we ain't moving on. Move on .org. just let's move on. <laughs> no, you don't move on. It, it, you're not going to just do this. In the private, the secret, no. Watch what Paul did. He used his citizenship, nay verily, but let them come themselves and fetch us out. He was going to make these bigwigs come down and make a whole procession to get this man out. See, he used his Roman citizenship. Now look at verse 38. And the, ser the sergeants told these words unto the magistrates, and they what? They feared when they heard that they were, because the way they treated a Roman citizen, they could, they could die by mistreating this man. It was serious. Or at least go to jail, you know, go to prison. My point is, they uh, they used, so Ron Paul was a Roman citizen. Now, there's a passage, uh, Ryan, you can probably help me find it. It's either in Acts 23 or 22. There's, there's a mention of it in both of those chapters. Can you give me those two? About the lawful for you to scourge a man that is a Roman? Is that yeah. what you're talking about? It's, it's, uh, in Acts 22... You got it starting kind of in 25, you got it in 26, 27, 28. All right, let's, let's start at 25. Uh, Denise, you have that? Uh -huh. Acts 22, 25. And as they bound him with thongs, Paul said unto the centurion that stood by, Is it lawful for you to scourge a man that is a Roman being uncondemned? Huh. Paul just asked him, says, now, is this right under Roman law? Because all that man looked, and he just saw this Jew, right? He didn't see the Jewish man. Like, yeah, they looked up. But he was a Roman citizen. Look at verse 26. When the centurion heard that, he went and told the chief captain, saying, Take heed what thou doest, for this man is a Roman. Then the chief captain came and said unto him, Tell me, art thou Roman? A Roman? Paul said, Yea. And the chief captain answered, With a great sum obtained I this what? Freedom. Freedom. And Paul said, But I was what? Freeborn. Now, so that's my speculation. His father paid, probably paid a great price 
as a religious Pharisee man going to travel amongst the Roman Empire, do his religious thing, he paid a great price, and then his son is born with that privilege, legally. So that's why I said, legally, Paul would have gotten that, okay? Mm -hmm. Even though his from birth he was a Hebrew or a Jew. Jew is their religion. That was his religion. But legally, he was free born that way. He was born that way, is my point. But somebody, somebody in his ancestry had to buy that right. Because mm -hmm. they, they weren't they weren't Gentiles, they were Jews. So uh, what's the other what's the other one? Um, there's more in uh, in Oh yeah, let's keep going. Twenty-three, if you want. Yeah, uh, you got twenty-three. Uh, yeah, can you give me that? Twenty-seven. Too? Thank you, man. Twenty-three, twenty-seven. This man was taken of the Jews and should have been killed of them. Then came I with an army and rescued him, having understood that he was. You see what his citizenship got? Him? Yeah. He got delivered with an yeah. army. Yeah. yeah. You know what? You and I, born here, we have rights to go all the way to the Supreme Court, right? You can, you can appeal something, as the American said, all the way to the Supreme Court. They went and protected him with an army. Verse 28. And when I would have known the cause wherefore they accused him, I brought him forth into their council, uh, whom I perceived to be accused of questions of their law, but to have nothing laid to his charge worthy of death or bond. You know, you know what this guy's saying? The Jews made a big deal about this guy, but really, when I heard him out, it's just about their little laws and stuff. This has nothing to do with us Romans. It has nothing to do with it. He's going, I don't, he didn't break any Roman law. He's not, he shouldn't even be in handcuffs or in prison. I don't know what's going on, but what I've heard, that he's, going, he's going, it's just some religious spat he's having with some other Jews. Right. That's they, what didn't, they didn't care about that. They didn't care about that. Remember what it says about they brought Sosthenes before the judgment seat? Mm-hmm. And the Jews beat him before the judgment seat, and, and the Roman guy didn't even care. He was like, get these Jews out here. Well, you know, that's how Stasi is even, even Pilate, right, with Christ, he's like... Well, you, you handle it yourselves. Right. He tried to... Pilate, now that was a politician, he was like, if I don't squelch this, I'm in trouble. My head is in trouble to Caesar. But if I let... So he just... Right, he was he, trying to get out of it. He, was he saw like, nothing wrong with him. Yeah, he's like... He, he went out to them, he says, look, behold your king. I see nothing wrong with this man. And then he did what a good politician would do, kind of, throw, you know, he, he said, ah, well, it's the Passover. We normally, our custom is to release a Jew. I'll let y'all decide who you want. You want this murderer Barabbas who I'm about to string up in about next, the, the, tomorrow. I'll wait for your feast day to be open. I'm going to string him on that cross. Or do you want this Jesus who has done nothing? They go, free Barabbas, we crucify him. See, you see the people? But yeah. All these guys, when it came to the questions of their law, they didn't want nothing to do with that. And that's good. You shouldn't have to have the government all involved in that stuff. They just, just, the government's yeah. job is to restrain evil. Just keep peace. That's it. Let people do what they want. If they're not hurting nobody else, and Paul didn't do anything hurting anybody. Another good example of the, the privileges that he had for being a Roman citizen yeah. is in Acts 25. Oh, what's that? Uh, verse 16. That Thank you, Ron. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, let me read this one out. Um... Acts 25, 16. To whom I answer, it is, thank you, it is not the matter of the Romans to deliver any man to die before that he which uh, before that he which is accused have the accusers face to face and have license to answer for himself concerning the crime laid against him. We still today. use that today. In courts, you got to, you got to be able to. Deal with they got to be witnesses, and you get to question the witnesses and hear that you know there's this you got your defense attorney gets to question the witness if they're gonna accuse you they, they, that's what's going on. It's gotten a little bit uh, perverted since it is, since it is. the uh, Inquisition started the kind of thing about like the state versus so and so. I know, man, that they became blue. Yeah, right. exactly. Where it's not yeah. an individual per se anymore. That you know, they're, they're witnesses, but the accuser doesn't have to be a person. It can be the state at this point. Yeah. And that started, no, it, the, it, it that started with the Inquisition because it was the church versus these people versus uh -huh. a specific person. The I'm church right. being the Catholic Church, the, not, the, not, the, not right. the body of Christ. Interesting. Yeah, it has been perverted, hasn't it? Yeah. Because the person can say that they don't want to be, them to be charged, but the state will say, we still will charge. Yep. That's true. Because and, there's money involved. And to, and to, because there's money involved. And because, because Ryan's right, because when you go back to the law, under the law, the judges. 
Okay, so Israel was under law, we're that's judges. What, that's what bear false witness comes in. Exactly. Play. It was a person had to put themselves mm -hmm. on the line, and they could they could be dealt with if they did it unjustly. Right. So even with the judges, it was person against person, right? Mm -hmm. It wasn't this whole, like, the now, they, now it's political now. It's just mm -hmm. the force of whatever or, administration. Or the people like versus, like, who are yeah. these people? I don't care about this guy. I don't know. <laughs> like, the people versus OJ. Right. There was like a couple that. people. There was, like, the families of Nicole and mm -hmm. Brown Simpson. Yeah. And by people, they mean the state. Right. Essentially, right. right. And now they politicize. They use as a, you, it as That changes depending on who's in charge, right? And we owe that all to the, to the Inquisition. All these judges are elected by whoever up here. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, some, some are selected, some elected. But depending on who's, who's in charge, the president and his cabinet, the political scale, well, it shouldn't be that way, but that's the way it is. Now they can just yeah. kill you without even an accuser saying you did anything wrong. Yeah. Yeah. And, and by that's way, exactly what happened with the, with the Inquisition of the, of the Crusades and everything. Man, just kill me. I know, man. So it has been, it has been, um, uh, like, what did you say, Ryan? Did you say it was Perverted. Uh, perverted, yes. But just, I, this is a good one about Paul's Roman sisters. So, so what happened to Denise is this. When I say that Paul was a Jew, what I mean is he's the perfect example of how God, okay, so the body of Christ is Jew and Gentile in one body, right? Mm -hmm. And ultimately, that's what Saul slash Paul was. When he got saved, he was Saul, right? He was a Jew. But because he was a freeborn Roman citizen with all the rights and everything, he had, let me say he had Gentile status as well. That's what he had. Okay. Gentile status. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. He wasn't he wasn't physically or by birth. Excuse me. He wasn't physically by you know by nature, right? He wasn't born into it. But then you do have one who was Timothy. Timotheus was physically a Jew as well as a Gentile. Mm -hmm. by, by, he was born that way. He was mixed. He was mixed. One and two. Yep. So I'm just showing that both of these men represent the body of Christ, how God puts both Jew and Gentile in one body. Explain that perfectly. Good. Thank you. All those scriptures. Yeah, these are good scriptures. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. These are good scriptures to remember because sometimes people think that, see, you got the two extremes. Believers think that they have to be all involved over here in the political realm, right? And then, so you got that one extreme, but then they say no involvement over here. And neither one of those is true. Okay. You, you'd be somewhere in the middle. That's what moderation, what's your moderation? Look, Paul, he did not go and try to change the laws of Rome, didn't he? His job was to, he wasn't an activist, he was an evangelist. He went out to preach the gospel. But when he had a chance, by the way, it, he, he wasn't, he wasn't, had no involvement. He stood up for his rights when he had the chance. He was right here. Anytime the inf something came up where he could use his privilege as a Roman citizen, he used it. You're not going to just beat me in public and scoop me out in the, through the back door. No, no, no. Come on. Make the pop. He wanted to be justified in the eyes of men. He was like, yep. For real, he wanted to embarrass them because they embarrassed him. He wanted them to be tr uh, right and honest and fair, right? So he says, nope, you're not going to... Paul didn't get into it. He was about right here. He says, you know what? I normally stay out of it, but you're going to do your thing. Is it right for that them to condemn me? Where's my accusers? But Paul wasn't all the way over here. No, he wasn't all the way over here. Whatever the situation, he used it. If, if we have certain rights that if we try to get persecuted because of our faith, we can fight that, right? We can fight it as, long, as much as we, we have in us to fight it. I like the way would Paul, Paul would treat it too. He would he would put a question in the mind. He'd say, yeah. he'd say yeah. is this the way you would treat a Roman citizen? And right away they start thinking, oh, mm -hmm. is he a Roman citizen? Yeah, one of them he just out and says, no, he can't do it. But the, the second guy, he goes, uh, let's look at that first. That was a good one, John. You're right. Uh, it was the one, was it in 20? Right, what was the one where he says, being uncondemned being Romans? Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's uh, 2225. Yeah, John, this is a good one. Okay. 2225. Everybody look at that. And as they bow, okay, so John, John's right. These guys, they put the, the cuffs on them, right? They cuff them. Paul said unto the centurion that stood by, by the way, he was speaking to the head guy. A centurion has a hundred men under him. He's speaking to the commander. And the commander standing there, put them in the cuffs, because he just thought this man was a Jew. 
He go as they putting the cuffs on. They going He goes. Mm. Is it lawful? Just ask him. Is it lawful for you? See, that tells you that Paul respected authority too. But he it didn't mean he never questioned authority. He says, "Is it lawful for you to scourge a man that is a Roman and uncondemned?" See, they were about to scourge him, which the thongs mean they were going to tighten him up and just start to beat him. And guess what? It kept him from getting beat. Verse 26, when the centurion heard that, he went and told his captain, take heed what thou doest, for this man is a Roman. Then the chief captain came. He says, I can't believe this Jews are Roman. Wait a minute. Tell me, art thou a Roman? He said, yeah. And then, check this out. The chief captain said, with the great sum obtained I this freedom. And Paul says, but I was freeborn. I was born this way. It'll be like a Mexican coming over, getting a citizenship, and is in some position of authority. And they look at you and say, are you an American? Mm -hmm. He says, man, I, I, I had to go through immigration six, seven years, do all this stuff. Goes, I was born one. Uh oh, they respected that. So that's what I'm saying. So that was a good one, John. Yeah, he said he, he, he didn't just get on him. He, he, he just kind of put a little question in his mind, made him think, and it went up the chain. Yeah, I like that. So that, that was good for you, Denise? Yes. Makes sense? Okay. Any other questions? Very thorough. Thank you. Oh, I'm satiated. Good. <laughs> That's what we like. That's why we do the Q&As. I don't want anybody to leave with questions.